software. In this video, we are going to see how JNM software can be used for a fixed installment. For example, let's say we give 10,000 rupees at 3% monthly interest and then uh, so the system should calculate the interest automatically on daily basis and a customer should be in position to uh, pay any amount. If paid interest, then interest should be uh, received and if uh, amount from principal is paid, then the interest for remaining principal should be applied accordingly. So let's see how it works in Genome software. So let me just quickly search customer here. And then once I get the information about the customer, I will click loan. And then on loan, I'll enter amount, let's say 10,000 rate of interest 3% monthly, then interest with principal. This is very important. Instead of this, let's select runtime interest. So what it will do, it will calculate interest on daily basis. Let's say the the loan is taken for six month. Six month is only used for a reminder actually. It is nothing to uh, do with uh, interest calculation because interest is getting calculated on daily basis. Then the one is, is, is not applicable here. Then the principal 10,000 paid by cash. So that's why cash is selected there. And then let's say I select the date 10th of May. Just to understand today is let's say 14th. So 10th May. What will happen? It will calculate 10 to 10th one month and then for four days remaining interest. Then for this also I'll select 10. Now what is the difference between start date and installment start? There, there are possibilities that uh, the disburse amount and the actually installment start amount may be different. So in that case we have that option given here. So this is all set. Uh, we are not going to en enter any lump sum interest or installment per amount, amount per installment or document charges. Then I'll just go ahead and click save here. So loan account 58 is saved. So what we can do, the place where we searched customer name, we can enter loan number that is 58 and search. Okay, so as you can see, this will show the summary of loan where uh, it is showing 10,340, <coughs> pardon me. So 10,000 is principal and 340 is the, is the interest for one month four days what we can do here is let's say customer paid on 10th i'll set this and then i'll have to do recalculate so it is showing me 10300 it means 300 interest for one month and instead of 300 interest customer paid let's say 1300 it means 3 300 from interest and uh, 1000 from principal for that specific date so i click receive here now let's see what happens here so actually what will happen in this case that now uh, for four days the interest applied on 9000 from uh, 11 till 14 so uh, which is that is why it is showing 9036 if you see installment tracker then in installment tracker it will show amount 1300 out of which principal 1000 and interest 3000 collected and then amount now 9000 9, and interest 36 which is at run time that's why it is not showing it here and in addition to this how the transactions happen you can also see the transaction details here for example 10000 then interest applied 300 here and then received by cash 1300 and that's how 9000 is the balance that is the uh, this thing the principal showing so that is how uh, the runtime interest is calculated we can do a lot of things here like uh, interest 36 can be received or any random amount let's say 5000 so system will automatically adjust the uh, the principal and the interest part
so this is one of the concepts implemented in genome software there are a lot of different uh, methods implemented in genome software to calculate the interest on a principle thank you for watching this video